everyone, my name is Pleasant Marina and welcome back to New Life Episode 5. Last episode we absolutely got to work and made our clay ball and honeycomb farms. Which by the way, are producing quite well indeed. Not too bad at all, I mean this is only three bees, but it's certainly plenty enough for little old copper golem me to use. And in between episodes I've been doing a little bit of interior tidy up work. If you guys remember the stairs leading up to this section of the base, you remember that it's pretty much just partially dug stone dirt wall it was super ugly and was not connected to the main section at all. Well now I've refined that little spot to the point where we actually have a much more workable space to use and you know what I've even dug out the stone and dirt that was separating that little main section from the front window here so now we can actually look out and utilize that piece of the structure that I made previously. It's looking absolutely gorgeous in here. We've got some copper bar railings because you know us we're a copper golem we need more copper in here. I know some of you guys were a little bit concerned about our lack of copper and off to the right of those we're eventually going to have a bit of a bedroom but for now it's housing all of the horses because they were downstairs getting in the way and being little menaces weren't ya yeah that's right so <laughs> it's just sitting in here for now and we'll have to decorate it at some point but it's functional right doesn't always have to look pretty to begin with. And this little room down the end is just the temporary thing that I originally had when I was breeding my bees. So this is going to continue to be that for when we inevitably decide to make our actual honey farm. But now that the upstairs is actually looking semi more aesthetic, it's probably time to fix something downstairs that we got completely distracted from in the last episode. Um, the fact that the ducks are blowing the wrong direction. You guys gave me suggestions for those on I think episode two and I haven't had time to fix them yet. You guys came up with some pretty good suggestions in the comments below of one of my previous episodes so let's kind of get that thing fixed. Some of you guys were saying I could use an encased chain drive so let's take a bit of a look see as to what that is. Oop, if I don't spam out my little text box down here. <laughs> Ponder that one, let's have a look what it does. Chain drives relay rotation to each other in a row. All shafts connected like this will rotate in the same direction. Ooh, well there we go, that already gives us a good idea and concept of it. And in order to make one of these, it's actually super easy with the iron nuggets and andesite casing. So let's do it. Boop. Thank you very much. And now we'll just create two of these and hopefully that should be good enough for us to get this thick thing fixed. Now, of course, both of these wheels are connected to these main little kind of like gear shifts right here. So we're probably gonna have to remove those or at least remove the connection of one of them. Pop up here. And then I think all we're gonna have to do is just simply remove the block behind this one and that should pretty much do it. In fact, I think we'll also just fill up this hole with a regular andesite casing. We'll remove this drive here as well, and we'll put down a couple of encased fan drives. Now they are turning the same direction, which is fantastic, but we're gonna have to flip those up so they're actually gonna connect with the fans. In order for those to be connected to the actual gearboxes themselves, they have to be facing that way, but now they're not connected to the, uh, the uh, water wheels behind them, which is a little problematic. Can we use a gearbox here to do what we need it to? If we use a vertical gearbox running along here and here, actually just the one is needed, not two. So I'm thinking all we kind of need here is just a couple of vertical gearboxes and that should probably allow them to spin the direction that we're looking for here. Let's have a little bit of a look. See, I've made it very much a mess with these tough blocks, but there we go. They're both sucking up the air this time and we are not making some kind of dust soup. Oh, beautiful. Right, now the only thing is with doing it this way is the fact that now we have kind of an exposed gearbox running right here. Is there a way that we can theoretically hide that little spindle? That's our next problem. I mean, at the end of the day, probably one of the easiest solutions is just to use a couple of solid spruce trap doors and that should disguise it just fine. Although I kind of wish I still had the texture of the andesite casings, but this will do just fine. Hey, there we go. All right, let's clean up this mess. Now that is beautiful. It doesn't even do anything functionally. It's just there for aesthetics, but it looks cool, okay? So, yeah, you know. <laughs> but now that we have some of those interior little bits that were bothering us out of the way, it's time to get into the action for the episode. Today, I'm doing that stupid thing and I'm deciding to go to the nether. I know, we just died. We just got another origin and we're like, hey, let's go to the nether where it's inevitably one of the most dangerous places in Minecraft. 
but I really want the resources from the nether, so we're gonna do it and we're gonna be just fine. First things first, we need to get this armor sorted. Unfortunately, being a copper golem, that antenna cannot be taken off. It is permanently stuck to my head, so we're already losing one armor slot worth of protection. But we can at least enchant the other three pieces, and you know what we have? We have these netherite boots that Sausage gave us about an episode or two ago. Unfortunately, these do have Curse of Binding and Curse of Vanishing, but they have Feather Falling 4, Fire Protection 4, which is great for the Nether, and Soul Speed 3, which is even better for the Nether. Gonna do a little bit of a wax right there, thank you very much. And you're probably wondering, Pearl, why didn't you use those for your last origin when you died to fall damage with feather falling boots? Well, the thing is, I didn't wear them yet because I wanted to put mending on them and I hadn't gotten around to it. If we wear these before we get all the enchants that we want on them, then, well, they're kind of not exactly the most optimal things, right? We have to die to get rid of them. So we want to make sure we have everything that we want on these. But I do actually have a protection for book, I'm pretty sure, almost ready to go that we can actually stick. Yeah, there we go, on these boots themselves. As for the mending, Sausage actually has a villager that sells mending, but it's for more emeralds than I currently have, so we're gonna have to do some villager trading. And what better to use in villager trading than the massive amount of flint I have gotten from my farm. Hopefully this should be enough to get what we need. Hello sir, I think you're going to be the perfect candidate for being a beautiful Fletcher. I need I need a flint trade though. Trees please, sticks acquired, please take my sticks. I would appreciate it. All right, Come on, flint trade, flint trade, please. I think it should be pretty obvious. Hey, there it is, beautiful. And now we should be able to get all the emeralds we need by just kind of doing this and waiting for him to reset a little bit. Actually, you know what? That might be enough emeralds already, but I'm going to wait a little bit just in case. Ooh, what are you selling now? Crossbow, string for emeralds, which honestly could be nice. We're also kind of forgetting that I found a potential spider spawner down in my little kind of mining area underneath my base. So if we can set up a spider farm, a Fletcher villager is absolutely the way to go for us to get some good emeralds. A few sticks and some flint later and we have 21 emeralds and I think that should be hopefully enough for what we need to get that mending trade. Sausage, I must visit your village. Where is the teleportation stone? Okie dokie. Now, I don't believe the villager is actually within his build space yet. Also, that is a gorgeous looking tree. And I believe it's back when we first killed that weird kind of evoker looking dude in that little house that was up north. I believe in that direction over there. So it's a little bit of a walk. Hello there, little house. Long time no see. All right, now I believe the village is down in the basement. Oh, he's got a little top teleportation stone here too. That's good. Perfect. And now we can come, keep coming back with that stone. Hello, buddy. Do you mind, you know, giving me a little bit of a book? Can I get through here by a... Yes, I can. I can get through here because I'm so small. But dude, can you give me your mending book? Oh, 12 emeralds. Easy. If I had just a few more emeralds, I could have gotten another one. But that is a good start for our netherite boots, at least. Oh, also, I may have gotten sausage to clean up that dirt from around the tower for us because I was still too scared to get up there and he had no fall damage. So it was logical, okay? And he was kind enough to do that. So it's looking all beautiful outside now. All right, with our two books in tow, now all we need is an anvil. And lucky for me, I've got one right here. Now we can also make this a little cheaper if we can bind the books before putting them on the boots and also making sure they're in the right order. Two levels for this one. And hopefully, hey, only four more levels to stick it on. Actually, I've Oh, I've just wasted protection four. Was I a goof and forgot that fire protection was on the on the boots and just wasted my protection four book? Yes, yes I was. But okay, let's just get mending on them and accept that I've lost a book there. That's fine. Okay. Feather falling, fire protection, soul speed, mending. I think that's pretty good. Let's do it. As soon as we put these off, I can't take them off again until we die. I'm doing it. Okay, well, you know what? No more falling to our deaths. That's a start. Now we've got to enchant these two pieces. And I think the best place to do that is gonna be flip space for that little XP farm and the enchantment table. That was not a face I expected to see on a post right as soon as I spawned in, but okay. Hello there farm, once again, let's do this for yet another roll of the enchants. A few moments later, smite four. Not quite as good as sharpness, but hey, unbreaking three and looting two. All right, I shall take it. 
And there we go, that's all our stuff enchanted. We have protection four and breaking three, thorns two, protection four and breaking three, and then of course feather falling, fire protection, soul speed, and mending. Now, the next thing that we need before we go to the nether is actually the fire res potions, because gosh no, am I going into that hot place without the potions. However, I would like to gladly inform you guys that we already have them. They, they're somewhere in here. There they are. We ha already have some potion of fire resistance waiting for us. And this is all thanks to the wonderful Sausage. So big thank you to Sausage. We have our fire res potions and that pretty much makes us almost fully prepared to go to the nether. One of the last things that we actually need at this point is I'm going to say some slow falling potions because as much as I have feather falling, the nether has some pretty big drops and considering that I've only died to fall damage so far in this series, I think slow falling potions are probably a good investment. But that means I need to get phantoms. That means I can't sleep for three nights. This is going to go well. All right, come on phantoms. Where are you? It's been well over the time that you should be spawning now, so come on, show your little flying faces. <gasps> hey, there they are! Finally! Hello! I've been waiting for you guys for a very long time now. How did that go straight through? All right, please don't kill me though. It's gonna be a little bit hard with my ping, but we'll work with it. Yeah, there we go. How many we get? We, get, we got four from that. Brilliant. Looting two already coming through clutch. Next batch of phantoms, please. Little green dude on my base. Don't like that. Pachoo! Oh, almost. Pachoo! Hey, there we go. Pachoo! Hey, no green dudes on my base. Thank you very much. Come on, pink. There we go. Work with me. Six. Beautiful. And absolutely nothing from that guy. I wonder if I can get that skeleton achievement over here. Hey! <laughs> nice! I didn't actually think I would get that. Okay, well, I think this is actually going to mark the end of our phantom fighting as well. We've come out of here with seven. I don't think any more are going to spawn, but I think that's going to be plenty for us to last for a while. Let's go brew some potions. Lucky for us, our graceful friend Sausage has allowed us to continue to use his potion brewing building over here so we can make our slow falling potions. So this is going to be absolutely wonderful and we'll be in and out before we know it. Just add a little bit of smiles. And just like that, our potion of slow fallings are all done and ready to go. There's just one more thing that we need for the nether, and that is the obsidian to get there in the first place. 16 is plenty for what we need to do, so I think it's pretty much just about time that we make this portal. The question is, where do I put it? I'm thinking for now we could easily put it upstairs, but we're definitely going to make a design later on for it that should be super cool. But uh, let's just chuck it in the wall here for now. Okay, we are officially in. We've got our flint and steel. We're ready to go. I'm going to light that. Oh, I'm actually so nervous for this than anything else we've done here. I'm going to drink these potions just in case something happens. You never know, right? Maybe there's a big drop that will suddenly just fall off. Um, can't hope for the best. Actually, what I want to grab is some blocks real quick. Okay, I've got the blocks. I'm going in. Got orange juice online. It's our fellow cup of, cup of golem buddy online. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do I was outside of the portal. It's fine. I just got my little tiny body. Ah, okay. Hello. Hi. <gasps> Look at the prettiness. Ah, I already knew the nether was gorgeous, but seeing it in person. Look at those. What if, oh, we need the glowstone. We need the netherrack. Oh, this is pretty. Well, the main things that we actually need to look for is, well, really just the nether fortress and pretty much any of the nether trees so we can get some saplings and just grow them in the overworld instead. But I'm not going to say no to picking up a few of these. Can I, can I just pick this up without any needing anything else? To be fair, I've got silk on this pickaxe. It's a jellyfish mushroom sapling. What are these blocks? That sounds like bone. It's a full, a full bone block. Huh, what is this? A feather fern survives on nether ground. Can I replant that little piece that I just picked up? I don't think so. Oh, I can. Oh, that's cool. All right. And what are these? Golden lumabus seed. 
and a glowstone pile. Cool! With mushroom grass and sepia mushroom grass. I like it already. You know, these blocks will go pretty well with our copper golem palette. Look, I know I don't usually cross over SMPs or anything like that, but I have to say, this stuff would look so cool in my Hermitcraft uh, alien mega base. Like, this fits the vibe so, so well. I don't know what that thing is over there, and I don't want to find out. I'm going this way. Thank you. Oh, it's so green around here. Look at all the, the fog is green. That's crazy. Oh, and I'm not wearing gold. Oh, I forgot about the piglins. Oh, I forgot about the piglins. I can't put a golden helmet on my head. Maybe I should get some golden pants. Oh my gosh, that was a gas ball. That's all it was and that already was enough to frighten me. I'm gonna get some golden pants. Golden pants are quiet. It does sacrifice a little bit of our protection, but I would rather that than have to deal with piglin suddenly on my case. Ooh, there's some like more purpley ones. Ugh. What are those down there? Look at that. It's like nether sugar cane. Wait, is it nether sugar cane? Wait, is that what I think it is? That's not a fortress, is it? That can't be, right? Not right here. Hello? What are you? I, I have a feeling I've kind of seen some of these, like maybe on some other people's videos or something, but this might have been a spawner room, potentially. I don't know what was in it, but okie dokie. And the mystery of these, are you nether sugar cane? Another reed, close enough, <laughs> close enough. It's really hard to see in between these particles, but hey, I don't know what you are. And frankly, I don't want to find out. You're creepy, dude. You're like a wither, but a snake, slithery snake. Okay, anyway, don't know why I said that. I'm going to avoid you and go over this way instead. Sounds good, sounds good. Little glowy boy, you're not gonna hurt me, are ya? Can I hover over and you tell me what you are? You look like kind of a cute little slime. I'm kind of a little scared to hit you just in case like something bad happens, so I'm not going to, and we're just going to admire you and say how adorable you are. Okay, goodbye now. Ooh, is this a new biome we have coming up? Ooh, some red kind of bushy looking things. Now I'm scared a little bit of this gravel, because if you like update a block and it happens to be hollow underneath, <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, but let's have a see. This is what I got slow falling for, you know? What did I just break and did not get? Ow. Ow. Okay, something that I clearly cannot pick up with silk touch on a pick. I might need silk on some shears. It looks like we have some kind of nether cactus. Yeah, nether cactus. Survives on gravel. Do I get hurt when I walk through that grass? Oh, I do too. Okay. Well, I guess I better be careful of that. Oh, check that out. Oh, is that even bigger than the last one we saw? Oh my gosh, and, and what is this? It's like blue obsidian. Wow. I feel like all of my curiosity is gonna get the better of me in this situation, but I need to see what this is. What is this? Ooh, magma ball! I can use that for more fire res potions! A magma flower seed. So we could get magma cream from all of this? That's cool. Okay, obviously there's a geyser there. Can I pick- I can fully pick that up. <gasps> ah! Going in here. Wait. Okay, this is why I have fire res. My ability to panic in these situations is going to be my downfall. I'm telling you this much. I don't want a heart attack today. I want to live. Give me some of this blue obsidian thing going on here. I want it. Can I have it? Is that possible? This ain't breaking. Oh, wait. Yes, it is. Okay. It looks like it wasn't. Blue obsidian glass. Interesting. What is that all on the ceiling? Looks like a ruby. Oh, I really want to know what that is. Hello? What are you? You are nether ruby. So I was right, it was ruby. This is one of the main things you don't do in a hardcore series. But hey, slow falling, right? We're fine. We're all good. Ooh, what's that all down there? All right, divert paths. We're going down. Me, get all. Look at ya. Oh, I'm burning it all in the lava. Good, good job, me. Let me just burn everything. That's fine. Oh, it doesn't burn. Oh, never mind. Well, that's beautiful. It's a uh, sin sinicite ore. Ha! I see you. You're not gonna get the best of me again. That's right. Oh no, you don't, sir. Ow. Okay, you're gonna be right on my bridge. You need to get your ghastly butt away from me. Got it. Nice. Oh, uh, I'm right next to these weird wither skelly thingy majiggies. I'm running away. Goodbye. 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 No. 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 I mean, what do they drop? I'm kind of curious, actually. Like I said, my curiosity is probably going to get the best of me. He just drops coal. Okay, but I killed it in one shot. Don't know how much damage it took, but that was nice at least. Peekaboo. Ooh. Wait, is, this, is that deep slate in the nether? Hold on. Okay, we got the basalt, which is great. Is that deep slate? 
It is deep slate in the nether. Hello? What's with the terracotta? Peekaboo? New plants? I see something fresh! Ooh, are those mushrooms growing on the side of the wall? Oh, that's beautiful! Wait, I think um, sausages might sausage might have done that on one of these bases or something like that. I'm not too sure, but that's gorgeous. And what is this block? Please don't fall down. What are you? Swampland grass. These look like like hot cups of cocoa or something. Oh, we got some kind of tree thing that we can bring back with us. Perfect. And what is this one called? Hello, what are you? You are blooming vine. Beautiful. Everything is so pretty. Hello, make me cube. Butchoo! Ooh, wow, look at the trunks of these trees and the hanging droplet thing in my blobs. This whole episode is just gonna be me, be me saying, Oh, that's cool. That's pretty. That's gorgeous. Ooh, ah. That's what it's feeling like right now, but it's all new to me, okay? Can I break this? Oh, there we go. Ooh, what have we got? We have willow log with a willow torch. We got the willow sapling, which is good. We can grow it at home. It survives on nether ground. So that's fantastic. <gasps> it's like little fluffy fit coral fans on the walls, but these are going to be nether, 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 nether versions. I can't even talk right now. Hello, can I have you? I have so much junk in my inventory. Wall moss. That's pretty. This biome is insane. It's everywhere. So much pink. Wow. Is that a big tree? Look how thick that log is. Blimey. Oh, do I spy a new biome? I sure do. I see some blue leaves in the distance. It's very hard to see. So let me just get a little closer so you guys can actually have a little look-see. Look, blue leaves. Cool. Oh, that that's... That's, that's, that's not cool. Why are there eyeballs hanging from the ceiling? Um, look, I'm not questioning it, okay? I'm just gonna take some saplings from whatever these trees are and not question it. What is that a structure? <gasps> Ooh, little temple structure. I am not going into that temple, just to kind of let you all know. No, I'm not being tempted. As much as that would be cool, I'm not that stupid today, okay? We've, we've had a death like two episodes in a row. We're not gonna make it a third. We're gonna leave that for future us to find out what that is. For now, plants. Can I chop this one down like regular wood trees? Ooh, I guess I can. What are these? Oh my word. What have we got? Hold on, it's a sapling right there. What's that? It is a rubius sapling with jungle moss and rubius bark. Ooh, and what are these things? Things that apparently I can't pick up? Hold on, what about that? No, not with... That's my fortune pickaxe. Let's try this one. No, I don't think I can pick those up. We're gonna have to probably come back with some shears for a lot of this stuff. They kind of look like eggs. I really hope they aren't eggs. Please don't be eggs. I really, I really hope they're not eggs. Ah! 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 I'm poisoned. Okay. Noted. Don't walk on them. So what's this plant? Oh. That... Was that... Was that a was that a brute noise? Okay, you know, I don't want to stay in this biome. This biome scares me. I see there is another like kind of structure over there. Wait, is that? No, that that's that's not a fortress, right? This one looks this more like like an outpost in the overworld, but for the nether? Is that what that is? Okay, yeah, there's definitely brutes up there. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna stay here any any longer than I have to. Do I dare touch the eyeballs? I feel like I should not touch the eyeballs. What what is this? Hold on. Stalignate steed. Ooh. Did I just call it a steed? That's a seed, not a horse. Blimey. Okay, but I kind of want to touch the eyeball. Do I dare perk the eyeball? All right, here goes nothing. Please don't do anything to me. Oh, okay. It's fine. We're good. We got an eye seed. Right. That's disgusting. But okay. As long as it doesn't kill me, <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, I'm leaving now. I don't want to be in this biome any longer. It's creeping me out. I look up and all I see are eyeballs staring down at me. Mm. Oh gosh. Nope. 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 I don't know what just hit me there, but I'm leaving. Goodbye. I want to go home. I hate it here. Okay, what hit me? What was it? Hello? I'm being brave, so you should too. It's that little floating thing over there. It's a weird flying skull. Okay, I'm not going to stay too long to find out what kind of damage that does. We are just going to go this way. So far, this has been the worst biome. Everything dangerous lives here. I want to pick up those floating bits, but I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to hang around this bit for too long. Honestly, at this point, all I want is the fortress. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm good. 
with some of the new stuff that we've found so far. I, I'm happy to come back later for anything else. I just need that fortress. I just want to say again that this place looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at it. It's beautiful. Wow. Gotta say that this biome is also super crazy to look at. Oh, uh oh. Another wither thing. Okay, look, they're not that scary, but when they suddenly jump up on you after no hostile mobs for ages, they certainly can be a little spooky. Hello. Oh, how about no? Oh, that gives me wither effects. Oh, no. Okay, just keep healing. We'll be okay. Keep healing. We'll be okay. Ooh, okay, never mind. They are scary. I was wrong. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to call the nether trip here because, well, this biome is stretching on for a while. And two, I'm slowly but surely running out of potions. I have a few left, including actually quite a lot of fire res potions, but I also have no more torches to help mark where on earth I'm going here. So I might kind of ask some of our fellow... Uh oh, okay, I'm running. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm gonna ask some of our fellow... Oh gosh, our new lifers to see if... Ah... Uh, Let's see if they know where the nether fortress is. Okay. I managed to get that sentence out. Amazing. Yeah, we're going to ask some of our fellow SMP members to see if they know where I can find one instead of me walking around like this. Hoping I'm going to live and hoping I'm going to find it when I'm running out of resources. I've actually used two batches of potions. I went back and I made more and we've been going through those as well. So this isn't going the best. Oh my gosh. I just want to go home where it's nice and safe, where little copper golem pearl can survive, thrive, and be happy. <gasps> okay, not with it, not with it. Just heal up. Heal up when we feel we can. So we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Ooh, it's all good. It's all good. We're so close to home. Just keep going. Just keep going. What do we do? We run through the nether. And there's the portal. Oh, right next to a giant flaming octopus. Is that dangerous or not? Because I swear he does not attack. I'm just scared if I get close that he's going to do something. Can you stop dancing on my portal? Yeah, that's right. You go that way. Kind of tempted to shoot it. Don't shoot it. That's dangerous. We're almost here. Let's just go. We're leaving. Goodbye. It was not nice knowing you. Or was it? You're actually kind of lovely. Anyway. <laughs> oh, we're home. Oh my gosh, I've missed this place. Blimey. I've had to come back a couple times because for the potions and stuff. And I planted some of these so we could get the magma cream. And then, of course, these just to grow some extra nether wart. Back where it's safe. And of course, it's nighttime outside. The danger continues. But you know what? I'm happy with that. We, we, we did okay. We didn't come back with what I needed, unfortunately. We got no blaze rods and no blaze burner. Whoop, hello. I'm here, I guess. Um, No blaze rods, no blaze burner because of no fortress. So we're definitely going to have to ask some of our fellow server members where one of those is because I know they found one. However, I am done risking my life today in the nether and I want to relax with a little bit of building. And you know what? What's going to be more on theme for building in this episode than a nether portal design? I don't want to leave it in the wall upstairs and I actually really love building nether portals and making some cool stuff for them. So that's exactly what I'm going to do for today to wind down. The left side on our base here looks pretty empty so it could be good for a nether portal design. However, I have zero clue what kind of design I want to make so it could also go anywhere else on this big empty patch of land we've got here. So I'm going to give some time for my brain to think and thunk and I'm going to jump you guys straight into a time lapse. So put your feet up, get the popcorn ready and let's play the time lapse. Roll it!
sound like I'm mentioning sausage a lot today, but when I tell you he's helped us heaps in this episode, he's helped us heaps. When it came to doing the building for the nether portal, I really liked these green leaves here, which actually come from the anchor tree in the nether, which sadly we didn't find. And Sausage had absolutely gone out of his way to go into the nether and explore because he's got some pretty good protective abilities in there. And he's gone and he went and found me the resources that I needed and gave me a whole bunch of them. I only wanted the leaves, but he's gone and given us all his extra stuff too. And he's absolutely come in clutch. So Sausage, you're an absolute legend. And thank you for the balloon too. Definitely going to keep this, but I'm probably going to end up moving it like somewhere a little bit over there. But for now, it can stay there. However, yes, we have a brand new build for the nether portal. Now it wasn't initially what I had in mind. I thought I was going to make a full on like big nether portal design, but I ended up going after more of a structure approach after a few different tests that I found just weren't working in design. So it's kind of just a bit of an extra extension of our main entryway there. It gives a bit of a warehouse vibe and keeps that kind of natural coppery brown type vibe going on with the pellet. Around the outside, we've got the stone support continuing just like we have on the right hand side there with the tuff, the andesite and the stone. And then I also managed to find an azalea tree for the leaves to go with those Anchor leaves that Sausage had given us. For the main doorway here, I wanted to be slightly more contrasty from everything else, so you knew it was the main section, and decided to kind of go a bit more of a brighter andesite feeling. That block up here is andesite sheet metal from Create, and that is also andesite supports from the same mod. We've also got some extra doors on here, which are really fantastic, and once again, these are andesite. It's amazing how much variance you can really get out of the andesite block. But let's go inside and show you the portal because it looks lush, gorgeous and beautiful in here. There's so many colors and things going on where maybe one might say it's too much, but it does seem to harmonize pretty well and also really show off how much the nether has inside of it. I am absolutely loving, absolutely loving, loving all the different kinds of plants that we have available in the better nether and end mod. These are from the jungle nether biome that they've got in here. We've got all our jelly kind of shroom thing he's on the ground we've got the fern that we picked up we've got a little cinnocyte pot with a plant in it and a whole bunch of hanging foliage that also gives off light too which means i don't have to have any torches in here but it's very warm and cozy in here i, I quite like it i love fluffiness though you guys know me i like nature and everything like that and check out the little sapling in the cinnocyte pot too that is absolutely adorable and you can even see the little droopy glow thingy majiggies that we found on those trees originally in the nether it's a mini version of it adorable so yes that is my nether portal design so far and of course there's always more that we can add to the outside but i think it has come out pretty pretty well however like always it has come to the time where i will sadly be ending the episode for today it always feels weird to kind of like build something and then just end the episode but it is how it is we spent a long time in the nether so with that said i hope you all enjoyed the episode please let me know what you thought of the video down in the comments below i hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day and i will see you in the next one goodbye everybody goodbye goodbye